This is The Chris Abraham Show. Hey there, this is Chris Abraham, Chris Abraham Show, Season 5, Episode 23, 23. This morning I woke up and the weather threatened to be uh, stormy, but because it's uh, July 3rd, and that is sort of a holiday day for most people, I decided to actually do what I'd said, what I'd said, what I said, what I'd say I would do, which is to take an Uber out to RFK or to Eastern Market, which is uh, 7th and Pennsylvania, Southeast here in DC, my old haunting ground, my own stomping ground, my own neighborhood for 10, more like 98 to 2008, yeah, so 10 years, I lived uh, somewhere on the hill, whether it was um, East Capitol Street and 11th, or 14th and A, Southeast, my local coffee shop for my entire young life was Roasters on the Hill, and then Murky Coffee, and then now Peregrine Espresso. So, I packed up my GORUCK GR1 Vietnamese-made navy blue bag, filled it up with everything that I usually carry in my GORUCK Coyote Brown GR1 26 liter. This is a 21 liter. And Minus the 20 pound plate And uh, headed out here The first and and I had a really great driver the driver was from Tunisia and we talked about French and Spanish and we talked about this and that And it was quite fun And I was telling you're closed on Monday But they're open tomorrow for July 4th. Yep. Sorry about that. I was uh, talking to him about uh, possibly... I told him how much I love my little petite villa in South Arlington. And as we drove through Pentagon City and Crystal City and then into D.C., I was more and more reaffirmed as to my love of my little petite vie. Um, parce que, porque, it reminded me of like DC of the 90s, right? Like uh, now at, um, at um, 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 Peregrine Espresso, I didn't have any vibe, like it didn't seem like a, like an epicenter, there weren't a lot of people collecting and chatting and talking, it was very much kind of um, a quiet, sort of just insular world, whereas, you know that um, movie, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, I used to be more of a isolationist, more of the waspy kind of affiliated, just leave me alone as I read my book kind of cafe goer. But um, becoming part of the world of sexy South Arlington has really made me more of a uh, Greek wedding kind of guy. Like it's really become the kind of thing that I, you know, extremely pursue 
Like I want to like have the experience of, you know, the norm experience, the cheers experience. People know my name. People know how my coffee is prepared. People sit down and chat with me. Like I'm having a, I don't know, do I bring the party or do I find the party? Like I don't have the hubris to think I bring the party. But last week I introduced two young couples to each other. So maybe I do contribute to the joie de vivre, which is, which is totally ironic because I think that everybody thinks of all of the people in my posse. I believe that everybody believes that maybe I'm the saddest. If not sad is in triste or uh, sad or depressed, then just sad that I don't have kids, sad that I don't have a wife, sad that I don't have a family, sad that I'm fils unique, sad that I'm an orphan of sorts. But it really isn't that way. Um, I know Mark says that he brings the party with him, and that's better than bringing a bottle of wine or a bottle of scotch to a party or flowers. But, you know, I... I believe that if uh, I believe that if Peregrine was my cafe, I believe that it would be um, a little more playful. So I spoke to this uh, Uber driver all the way here, and we spoke in some French and stuff. And I revealed to him that <clears throat> my buddy Mark, well, all the birds have their mouths open because they're hot. And I think that they cool off with open beaks. Anyway, um, I, uh, I told him how Mark thinks that I don't need to be less boring. I just need to be as boring, but in a sexier place, right? Like, so, and I was even thinking about maybe if I want to become fluent in French before I die, I could move to a rural village with internet, and I can just, you know, have a little um, pied de terre, and I could shut down everything here, and I could leave my erg behind, and leave my skier behind, and leave my stationary bike behind, and leave my 35,000 kettlebells behind. Now that I've become a rucker, I have ruck will travel, so... Um, and then I can just move there and I can continue working uh, for uh, Upwork. And that can be my experience, right? So we'll see. Like I joked with him and I said, well, I said my goal is to lose. I lost my first 24 kilograms. Now I have 32 to 36 more kilograms. I have a pood, 32. I have a pood of kilograms left um, to uh, get to the point where my hips gladly fit into coach seating. And I would just go anywhere. I feel like I'm easily amused anywhere and I think I'm affable enough that I would really need to go into a hostile environment not to become fast friends with everybody. Like I have no problem being boldly made fun of and played with and toyed with. I <clears throat> am extremely good at taking... I mean, I can thank growing up Howley in Hawaii, right? If you um, you uh, adapt or perish. Is that the term? Adapt or perish? So now, here I am. I broke my diet today, but I expect to get a lot of steps in. And here's what I've done so far. I arrived thanks to my Uber driver, and went to Peregrine Espresso, bought a beautiful espresso in a demitasse with a, with a, um, uh, uh, a, uh, it was, it was a literal actual porcelain demitasse and saucer with a, glass of water next to it and a and a spoon to boot so i have i have ideas trained well enough that they basically put my quad espresso into a 
into the water glass that I drank the water from. And that makes me happy. Uh, I don't like paper anything anymore. Uh, it might be my defiance against... Um, it might be my defiance against COVID and the lockdowns and the paranoia with regards to biology and touching and all that other kind of stuff. But um, I will not make a regular of a, a of a restaurant that serves coffee and paper cups outside of Starbucks because they don't actually have any uh, any opportunity to do that. Um, I'm also spoiled because everybody in sexy South Arlington is super friendly, even though I look like a dork all the time. Like, I'm dorked up. I'm in uh, champion brand, stretchy, athletic sh black shorts. I'm wearing a, you can't see it, but I'm wearing a JL Sports JL Racing uh, unitard. They call it a unisuit uh, under my clothing so as not to reveal my underbelly. I'm wearing a um, 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 black t-shirt as per usual and Eddie Bauer brand XL um, but long, whatever their version of extra large but long torso is. And I have my navy blue bag and I have a... I believe that this is the Hill People Gear runner's bag. Like, it's only got one pocket and a zip pocket in front. It's not their recon or anything like that. I wanted the extra pocket to be able to carry things like my uh, keys separate from my phone so as to not get scratched. I brought my floppy... Um, my floppy... Uh, military uniform supply, extra, extra large boonie hat, which is that, uh, that German fleck pattern and a, and a gym towel, because if it gets really hot, um, I used to be a flop sweater. So instead of bringing an extra t-shirt, um, my goal here, the reason why I decided to come to DC early is because my buddy from the Goethe Institute and longtime Capitol Hill friend, longer than anybody really, um, uh, Craig Childers is going to meet me at a at a beer garden at 4 p.m. And little does he know that I don't drink anymore, but that doesn't stop anybody from going to an actual beer garden where it is more about uh, having fun and being outside and chatting and spending time together and so forth. And so he said he wanted to chat with me about some stuff. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm pretty excited to be remembered. And of course, there's a guy coming towards me with a leaf blower, which is going to be nothing but pissing me off if he comes any closer. But it looks like he's crossing, crossing the street. So my goal now... Oh, so I had that coffee, checked my email and then I walked over to Bullfrog or Bulldog or I think it's Bullfrog Bagels and I had an everything bagel with white fish and capers and a big tomato so that blew my my no carbs thing this morning I had um, four small Italian sausages and Believe it or not, a handful of dates, marjule, marjule dates. So my, I'm fully fueled, but it's completely whack if I'm going to say that I'm carnivore diet boy. So I must get a lot of steps today, so keep track of that. And from here, I think I might go check out 7th Street, and then I might go check out the mall. I don't know where I'm going to go. At the end of the day, I need to end up at a place called Dasha Beer Garden in Navy Yard at 79 Potomac Avenue. So that's where I'm going to be going. Ooh, it's so humid and so hot already. Yikes. That is an experience I'm going to have today, which, as you know, is so awesome when it's 
this hot out and you're wearing a unisuit and you're wearing black clothing. Oh, and I had a, uh, a cheap but good pair of sunglasses and they broke. And I just freaking throw them away even though I could glue them together. I just didn't want to deal. So I will be stopping for another pair of cheap sunglasses today. So wish me luck. And I guess that's all for now. This is just a day in the life kind of stuff. So it ain't no big deal. And I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to The Chris Abraham Show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until next time.